Last week here in Las Vegas, I screwed up my back. Ended up in the emergency room all night. You know how I did it, Tiffany? I slept funny. <laughs> 21 years ago, Kathleen Dunbar started her comedy career on a dare. And she is now headlining on the strip. You can see her this week at the Laugh Factory at the Tropicana. And she joins us now. Sorry to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Is that a thing? You injure yourself while you sleep? Does that happen often? It happens all the time. It's, a, it's, a, it's sad. We just got a new mattress, and it's real high up. Oh, yeah. That dress now getting in and out, you, it's a process. You need like the step to get up. Yeah, some people have them for their dogs. <laughs> you, have, you have it for yourself. I'm sorry, Kathleen. It's all right. I'm, I, I'm I gonna made, be all right. I, I made her cry within the first first 30 <laughs> seconds. Let's go back. So someone dared you uh -huh. to do comedy. Do you still are you still friendly with that person that Absolutely. said, "Hey, Kathleen, go up there and do some comedy." Absolutely. She, uh, she was working at a bar that had an open mic, or uh -huh. her husband was working at the bar. And she says, have you ever thought about doing stand-up? I go, my whole life. But you don't really do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what crazy people do. So I went down and I signed up. They allowed me three minutes. I remember being mad, thinking, three minutes? I'm funny. Give me 20. Thank goodness it was only three, because it was like, the next thing you know, you're hearing nothing. But everybody sure. laughed. They asked me to come back three weeks later. I was opening for Emo Phillips in a five star comedy club. And then you moved to Las Vegas, and a fun fact you won like a comedy show that was sponsored by Channel 8. Yes, you did. It was uh, 2000, 2002. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a Las Vegas star. The stardust, search. says Norm. Yeah, the yeah, stardust. Yeah, that was so great. And I. I won that whole thing, like 110 comics audition. That's amazing. So that but, was a blast. But you, you grew up in the Midwest, right? And then now you're living in Las Vegas, you're a Las mm -hmm. Vegas resident. What's the biggest difference between growing up in the Midwest and now spending your time here in Las Vegas? Happiness <laughs> is the big difference. I'm much happier. Oh, here. good. Happier here. I'm I'm very very happy you're here. I thought you say the Midwest. I'm like, oh, come no. on. Vegas is a great town. Like right now, I called somebody today. You know, what's the date? February 24th? Uh -huh. 25th? Sure. I said, hey, what's the you said, what's the temperature? And they said, it's eight. <laughs> eight back eight. home? I said, you're such an idiot <laughs> living there. You idiot. I go, it's 60, it's like 68 degrees. We're going to golf tomorrow. You it's gorgeous. Me, you idiot. And she's like, oh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I go, well, fine, Grandma, whatever. That's how you talk to family. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I want to hit you. I did a little social media scrub on your Twitter account. Okay. So look at some people that you follow on Twitter. I'm going to okay. give you the name. You tell me why you follow them. Okay. Rapid fire. Okay. You follow George Wallace. Why? Hysterical, wonderful, warm man. Vince Neil. Great musician. Okay. The Mad Greek Cafe. I do. You do. I guess they have good food. <laughs> hey, sure, you follow them. Okay. Our own Nate Tannenbaum, you follow Nate on Twitter. Oh, Nate's great. I love Nate. Nate's wonderful. And then you follow uh, uh, Bob Saget. Bob Saget, I worked with him a long, long time ago. Can I tell you my Bob Saget yeah, story? Yeah, we got to wrap after the Bob Saget story, but go ahead. The floor okay. is yours. I was working with him, and when we got done, they were all going to go to a, um, a club where the women take off their clothes. I have never heard of these clothes. Yes. And he says, Kathleen, why don't you come along? I says, no, I have to drive back to Milwaukee, which was about an hour and a half drive, and then go to work the next day, and then drive back to the club that night to perform. I go, I don't have time to go to a club where women take their clothes off. And he put his arm around me, and he says, Kathleen, you're a comedian now. Get in the limousine. So I went in the limousine, and we went up to the club, and we drank all night, got really wasted, and I called in the sick work. And then the rest is... And, and they and that's said, why are you not coming to work? I said, because I got drunk with Bob Saget. That's, that's, anyone that needs to call in sick tomorrow, just say you got drunk with Bob Saget. <laughs> it's a get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> Kathleen, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you appreciate for having it. me. Kathleen Dunbar, she'll be performing at the Laugh Factory at the Tropicana tonight through Sunday. For tickets, call 702-739-2411. Mercedes, over to you.